Hello from Birmingham International Airport. I'm Patrick Hughes and this is Planet Patrick. Hey there and welcome to today's flight report. The journey starts at Birmingham International Airport, the UK's seventh largest airport. something of a long week and so I've decided to upgrade myself to business class. For the upgrade you could either use miles and smiles points or you could pay in cash money. Okay, it's 200 pounds. It was £200 which is a promotional offer from here in Birmingham over to Istanbul. That gets you fast track, gets you access to the lounge and it gets you a better meal on board and obviously the seat as well. I'm going to go ahead and go through security now and get to the lounge and see what kind of snacks and beverages they have. Security was really quite straightforward. It takes about five or ten minutes with the amount of camera equipment I take with me. Sometimes they can take a little bit of time examining everything. I'm through all of that now. Down here we're towards shops and restaurants. I think I'm going to find my way to the lounge, have a nice refreshing drink and that snack I talked about. Like I need another snack. The aftershave was on special offer for $29.95 and it smells quite nice, so it'll do the job. Okay, the lounge is number one lounge. Let's see if we can find that easily. I did eventually find the number one lounge and there was a massive queue, maybe 20, 25 people, all very grumpy and not being able to get in. It seemed to be either overbooked or Flights were delayed and people weren't moving out of it. Big queue for drinks. So they've sent me around to their sister lounge, which I hope is a little bit nicer. It's much, much quieter here than it was at the number one lounge. But even so, the staff here are really under some sort of duress there. I did manage to get a gin and tonic. Very light on the gin, heavy on the tonic. So we need to change that around. But it's somewhere nice to sit and relax for a little bit, have a snack and get ready for the flight over to Istanbul. Today's flight, TK1970, is with Turkish Airlines from Birmingham BHX to Istanbul IST on board one of their impressive Airbus A321neos. The scheduled flight time is 3 hours and 45 minutes. It looks like if there is a delay, it'll be a pretty short one. The lounge was only open for a bit less than an hour, so the rest of the time I've been out here sitting at the gate waiting to board. Shouldn't be too much longer, hopefully. Everything seems quite comfortable. I don't know if this is lie flat or not, but there's some fun little things going on here. Like this little privacy divider to give you some privacy from the person who's sitting beside you. I think business class is not particularly sold out today, so I might be in this row on my own, which would be quite nice.
The livery on board is a deep charcoal grey with piping and highlights in a rich sand colour. These movable headrest wings are imprinted with the Turkish Airlines logo. The sand colourway is brought through even to the seat belts. Although this is not a lie flat product, the business seating is still roomy and comfortable. You have control over the recline of your seat and an electronic footrest. There's a hanger for your jacket. And the tray table is tucked neatly into the armrest and is spring loaded. That took me by surprise. I have to say the legendary Turkish Airlines service is on display here and is impressive. Come on board, sir. Would Thank you like you. to have a drink? Yes. This looks sensational. Thank you so much. Before takeoff, I was offered a selection of non alcoholic drinks. But they came with gin later. We have applied for an improvement. If we get any, uh, we will be able to go start earlier. We are very sorry about this delay. Our flight time to Istanbul will be 3 hours 35 minutes and the output will be 35 hours. So I get the only business class meal on board because I was the first person of three to upgrade. The other two people understand that they're getting the regular economy meal. That's probably absolutely fine too. Pasta, I think. So they've just given me the menu. So let's have a look at what is happening. Now, this is not the full on Turkish Airlines chef situation. This is a pre-organized meal. Let's hope it's not fish. So they just came by to get a drinks order from me. I thought it was kind of like a little aperitif, but um, no, they're going to start serving food almost straight away. So I've gone for a glass of white wine. It's very disconcerting, by the way, getting text messages and alert because the Wi-Fi is so good. Let me quickly do a speed check. It's creeping up there to about one megabyte. And that's fine for SMS and messages, WhatsApp, that kind of thing. Oh, and by the way, you get one gigabyte free if you're traveling in a business. So I'm about to tuck into this. This is the best of Turkish medse. Oh, a vine leaf stuck with something really fragrant. Rice, it's a bit sweet. I don't know if there's meat in it, but then they came out with fresh bread. Doesn't this look good? I think it's like a cucumber raita. It's lovely. And I've tried this, but I think it's aubergine. I think it might be baba ganoush. A really nice oil, nicely seasoned. Like bulgur wheat with tomato. Mm. It's like little veggies. Something like sweet, maybe. So interesting. I'm very happy. I just spotted the salt and pepper. I've seen people um, show this online. They look like little turrets. Aren't they cool? So the main course is a Turkish meatball made with beef and some roast red peppers. This green vegetable, I thought at first it might be avocado, but I think it's courgette, like a chewy courgette. And this bulgur wheat, that's really nice. I'm gonna enjoy this. I'm now on to eating cheese. And lastly, some orange mousse. Pausing my movie for a bit because they've brought me a special treat, which is some Turkish coffee and a piece of Turkish delight. I've never tried Turkish coffee before. I think it's very strong. Should we try the coffee first? Let's try the coffee first. Oh, it's 
very strong, earthy, and it has some of the grounds in it. It's not all filtered out. Mm -hmm. That's delicious. It's orange with the coffee. It tempers it. We're an hour into the flight. It's all going very smoothly. I'm going to enjoy my movie, and I'll see you when we start to descend. lights in here. These are kind of an LED. There's a little service center over here for tissues and towels. And they're using molten brown. Apart from that, it's pretty much the same size as most bathrooms on an A321 Neo, but it's nicely kitted out. minutes away from landing. I think I'm starting to see the lights of Istanbul. Thank you so much. Bye bye. See you next time. Bye bye. What a lovely crew on Turkish Airlines on that A321 Neo to here in Istanbul, in Turkey. Let's see how easy passport control and picking up my car will be. I've got car service here. Well, passport control was slow. Oh, just because the number of people there, but the passport control agent was kind of pissed at the world. Anyway, keep smiling. Here we are, bags to collect. According to the baggage sign, so I thought bags have been delivered. I see a great big red one. Could that be mine? Yay. Happy days. Well, now I've got a grumpy driver to deal with. He said he's been waiting here for two hours, but he's only been booked since half 11, and it's currently 12. It turns out he's been here for two hours because he didn't want to leave the airport and have to come back and park again. And so he sat and had a cigarette with his friends and a bit of a chat. So actually, you shouldn't particularly be grumpy. Neither should I. But here we are. Thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Planet Patrick here in Istanbul after a great flight over with Turkish Airlines from Birmingham International. If you don't already follow me on Instagram, please do at this is Planet Patrick. But until the next episode, take care. Bye bye. I'm Patrick Hughes and this is Planet Patrick. <laughs>